Hey guys, it's you from Everything Paddle and this is the Adidas Metalbone Hard Full Review. We're going to be breaking down this racket today. We're going to be doing three main tests. We're going to do the smash test, the bandeka test and then the Bahada test, attacking the ball off the back glass. So, so first impressions of this racket, um, they've changed the design so it's now a red, black and grey design. Last year it was grey and black. I like this change, I think it goes well with Adidas's uh, brand. And I did really like the grey and black design but this also just looks really, really good. And then obviously you've got the big metal bone hard um, at the bottom of the racket. So the materials used are the carbon surface and it's also got an EVA density, a high memory, which is very, very powerful and it's a hard feel, hence metal bone hard. This is gonna give you a lot of power and a lot of fast ball speed as you strike each ball. So you will notice that. It definitely favors power over that control and comfort. Um, Diamond shape uh, with the sweet spot near the top of the racket. And the surface of it is not as a sandpaper feel as it was last year, but it is still rough. And it's got some spin blade technologies as well to make sure that you can get a lot of grip and spin on the ball. So for playing smashes at the court, it really is ideal. Also, you can see here, it's got six customizable weights to change the weight and the balance of the racket. Now, if you remove the weights of these racket, the racket will feel slightly more head heavy because the weight is gonna be more at the top and less in the handle. If you keep all of them on, the, the balance is gonna feel more evenly distributed. So if you think I want even more power, take the weights off. And if you think you want more sort of comfortable feel, then keep the weights on. But you can really play around with this. When you receive the metal bone, it comes in packaging with a little Allen key to adjust these weights. So test number one with the metal bone hard is we're gonna do a smash test. So I'm gonna get someone to feed me some balls and then gonna try and basically do a flat smash down the line and see how much power we can get. So right now in England, guys, uh, it's cold, it's wet, the balls are kind of old. The ball's not gonna be flying out of the court as much as it would in the summer. I'm not the best smasher either. I did notice a lot of fast ball speed off the end of the racket. Um, it did feel like the ball was sort of flying off the racket. I also noticed if you hit it right in the, in the sweet spot with your timing perfect, that's when I managed to generate the most amount of power. The next test we're gonna do is the Bandeka slash Vibora test. We're basically gonna try and kill the ball with a lot of spin and see how it performs on court. So for this test, I'm basically getting sort of a high ball midway at the court and got to play sort of Bandeka slash Vibora, trying to kill the ball with a bit of spin and uh, it performed really, really well. Good power, the ball stays very, very low off the glass as you can see on some of the shots. They're gonna be really tricky balls to defend. So if you like to play this type of shot, especially aggressively, then I recommend this racket. Also, can bear in mind that if you do want to get more power on this shot, as well as the smash, you can remove the weights um, and make it more head heavy to get that bit extra power at the top of the racket. For the final test, I'm going to be doing a Bahada. I'm going to be smashing the ball off the back of the glass. So out of all three tests, this one's where the racket for me excelled the most. Um, I don't know if this is just because I'm better at this type of shot, um, but I felt all sort of four main factors that are important for rackets sort of all came together here with power, comfort, control, and spin. Um, obviously you need the power, you need a good strike here, you need the control to keep it in the court. It needs to feel nice on your arm and comfortable, and then you need a bit of spin on this shot as well to get it to die. And I felt a combination of pretty much all of those here. So um, a big positive for the last challenge. So I'm gonna leave a link to this racket in the description of this video. So if you do wanna buy this racket, you can go straight online to Everything Paddle and get one for yourself. We have free shipping in the UK and we ship worldwide as well. So overall, my thoughts on the Metal Bone Hard is an amazing racket. It's gonna be used by Ali Galan in the 2022 season. Um, it really does live up to all of the hype. So obviously extreme power, lots of control and comfort. I found that when you hit the ball right in the sweet spot towards the top, that's when you get the most ball speed output and you get the best shot and especially when you get a good amount of spin on the ball the ball just dies immediately it's very cold and wet in England right now so obviously doing the smash the balls aren't going to fly no matter what racket you use but I'm sure come around to the summer and you'll be able to kick the ball out of the court really really easily like I said at the start of the video I've left a link to this racket in the description uh, so you can hop onto everythingpaddle.co.uk and get one for yourself. We have free shipping in the UK and we ship worldwide as well. Like I said in all of my videos if you need help choosing any racket or want have any questions you can text 0770404 on WhatsApp or you can contact us via Instagram DM or you can email us here. All that information will be in the description as well.
Thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy. Let me know if there's any other rackets you wanna see me review. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. It helps me make this type of content and keeps my business growing.